we visit the Power Play factory producing the new range of long reach cruising power catamarans and get an update on the massive amount of development and progress being made as we see the first few boats approaching completion, plus new factory expansions and local launch facilities. With headquarters located at Ocean Marina and Pattaya, a couple of hours south of Bangkok Airport in Thailand, the Power Play factories are surrounded by an enviable range of facilities for new boats being delivered. We ventured out on board the earlier Power Play catamaran that operates as a purpose-built day charter vessel as it slices through the water at 15 knots and consuming just 30 litres per hour combined. The region has many beautiful cruising destinations and idyllic conditions, with a modern 350 berth floating marina and slipway where the long reaches will be launched and sea trials conducted before being shipped from neighbouring ports, or local delivery to customers wanting to cruise Thailand. This is a great option with local service not only provided by the factory, but many of the suppliers from the engines to electronics all located on site, while there are four and five star resorts and hotels nearby offering a relaxed onboarding experience. Longreach are quickly outgrowing their humble beginnings, with four factories now in use, with resonant fusion now underway in the new facility, five minutes from the marina, offering state-of-the-art equipment from temperature controlled bays to dust extraction. Resonant fusion of the deck was underway on the new Longreach 44, And the Longreach 44 is coming along beautifully and now taking shape. This will be a real game changer with efficient displacement hulls for cruising at idyllic speeds of 12 knots or so, but with the power to reach 20 knots or more. The underwing clearance and wave breaking shape provides offshore capabilities too. This boat is being built to both CE and AMSA standards for commercial operation as a charter boat in the Whit Sundays and will be operating later this year. Here you can see the bulkheads in place and interior fit out is about to begin in the four cabins. With a large U-shaped galley, lots of seating in the cockpit and a huge flybridge with great entertaining spaces also. The high performance Longreach 40 is also well underway. Over into the next factory and we have four Longreach 58s being built simultaneously with hulls one and two drawing close to completion and the interior fit out well underway, with the galley cabinetry, cabin furniture and electronics being fitted. The paint job is done on the first 58 and it looks spectacular. James from Powerplay talks us through the hull design and shows us the shafts and props that have been fitted. This is what is called a full displacement uh, slender hull uh, design. And it is the slender hull, as you can see, it's pretty thin, uh, but it's 1.1 meters wide and it is a low drag hull, vertical sides, near vertical sides and uh, round bottom to give the lowest surface area on the boat and it also has the lowest drag of any uh, other displacement hull. On this one, we, we build in the chine here to, to, to get some width into the accommodation. And also, at this point, it's uh, deflecting any, any uh, wave action from the hull. Um, obviously, the bow thruster, one of the two bow, twin bow thrusters, um, on the slight angle to be more manoeuvrable. Decent height between the water and the shine is important, so we don't get any slapping. So we're under obligation to build them fairly light, so we don't overload them. Um, you can see on, on here we've got the uh, docking keels. Um, as you can see, the whole boat's sitting on four points. Um, a pretty tough hull. It's all uh, PVC core and one less of resin. 
and some pretty special fiberglass. Here we have the wave breaking hull form. It just stops any slamming and it's a very comfortable ride. Okay. Uh, underwater exhaust from the main engine. Here is the idle bypass outlet. Uh, all visible from the boat itself so we can see any, any exhaust up here or any we can make sure that we've got water coming out of the bypass exhaust. Here we have the uh, one of the five braid uh, propellers with a very good tip clearance and good uh, good distance away from the trailing edge of the of the hull. Again, the the protective uh, uh, docking keels and the single blade propeller. Uh, this this bit of gear is just to deflect the water away from the the uh, rudder bearing um, kicks the water out of the boat and, and uh, gives uh, longevity to the built to the bearings um, so that the very important is the um, propeller shaft angle we we'd like to have it we like it horizontal as possible but this is two degrees just to, to get the engine uh, into a, a, a better service area for more information on the Long Reach range, click here. To see more videos on the Long Reach and the full range, watch this playlist.